Chinese would consider that high fashion. I think they call it punk. Well, I call it being in a hurry. My kids have been after me to update my wardrobe. You think that this will satisfy them? <laughs> I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, Grant. Oh, why does the bad news always surface just before the weekend? I just got off the phone with fisheries. There's a problem with several of the lakes in the wilderness area. What's the problem? They're losing trout. The ranger I spoke with seems to think there's an infection in the water, possibly BKD. Oh. Well, that is a problem if it's BKD. The only way to stop the infection from spreading to the other lakes is to poison all the fish in the infected lake. I guess this means a weekend camping trip? I already arranged the flight. Joyce will fly up first thing in the morning. Uh, and to answer your second question, yes, you can take the kids along. Thanks. Joan has already made arrangements to spend the weekend with Dennis, so it'll just be Nicole and me. Nicole and me what, Dad? Hi, Dr. Dunbar. Hello. A weekend camping trip. How does that grab you? Just you and me? Uh-huh. Think you can put up with the old man for a couple of days? Are you kidding? Great. When are we leaving? Joyce will pick you up from your float at 7 a.m. Let me know what you find out, okay? Carry on, Captain Cufflink. Nice touch, Dad. Anything new you can tell me? Just what I reported to Dr. Dunbar. We just uh, suspect that it's BKD. But if we're right, we're going to lose a lot of native trout. Are the streams coming from the lake showing any signs of infection yet? Well, not yet. But I tell you, it's a sad sight up there. If you find out that it isn't BKD, let us know right away. Otherwise, we'll start poisoning in a couple of days. I sure hope you can help us out. So do I. Can we use the truck all weekend? Uh-huh. There's a full tank, and there's a radio in it if you need us. Great. Anything else we can do for you? Wish me luck, maybe. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. See you later. Bye. Thank you. for 10 hot horses, huh? He's selling encyclopedias. <laughs> you better get rid of Annabelle. That old horse is about to go blind. Later, Becky, my love. Right now, you and me is going to do some scouting. We're going to make a haul. we got to find us another herd. You guys get ready to move out fast in case we find anything. Oh. 
This is worse than I thought. Can I help you with anything? No, sweetheart. Just have fun. This is gonna take some time. Okay, I'm gonna go exploring then. And get some pictures that will really make Jonah jealous. Don't go far. That stallion make our job a lot easier. We get the others in a snap. No way. I'm saving that baby for myself. He's gonna bring a bundle to Rodeo Market. Bob, you help Becky. We'll meet you back at the campsite. Ha! were rustlers. Are you positive? No. But why would there be a hidden trap on government land? That does sound pretty strange. I'll tell you what. As soon as I find out what's killing these fish, we'll go to the rangers and tell them what you saw. How does that sound? Great. Are you close to finding out? Not yet. I still have a few more tests to make. In the meantime, how about rustling us up some grub? Okay, partner. Sleep, are you asleep too? <laughs> You're so silly sometimes. Mm. It's beautiful out here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Peaceful and quiet. Nothing relaxes me like sleeping under the stars. Reminds me of when we were in Africa camping. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I remember. Mom would point out the different constellations and tell us how they got their names. Do you remember what we used to do when we saw a shooting star? Make a wish. I was kind of hoping we'd see one tonight. What would you wish for? That Mom was here. I miss her so much. I miss her too. your mother. I'd give anything if there was something I could do to help you. You do, Dad. Just by being you. And you in 
that you'll help me too by being yourselves. I don't think I could have made it without you two. We need each other. Mm -hmm. And we need the memories of your mother that we share. The happy, loving times. The things that made her so special to us. Those memories make us close. I don't think I'll ever stop wishing she was with us. I think she is with us, Nicole. Not just in our memories, but you and Jonah are a part of her. She's a part of you. You're very much like her, you know. Especially when you smile. <laughs> oh, look. A shooting star. I think she's here with us tonight. Maybe she just made a wish. What did she wish for? That you and Jonah and I would have happy and full lives. I think so, too. We will. Yeah, it's definitely not BKD that's killing the trout. That's terrific, Dr. Roberts. Any idea what is causing them to go belly up? Well, it's something a lot simpler than BKD. Oxygen starvation, perhaps. I have to make one more test to pinpoint it exactly. Ah, good enough. We never would have caught that. Now, about those horses and the men you saw, we've had reports about rustlers in some of the other areas. They might have moved into this neck of the woods. So Nicole may have spotted some bona fide wrestlers then? Well, possibly. Times are tough and there's big bucks to be made from stealing horses. Just because times are tough doesn't give them the right to wrestle those Mustangs. Why do they steal them? What do they do with them? Honey, some of them are made into pet food. That's awful. We gotta stop them. I agree, but we need proof first. I saw them. Isn't that proof? Uh, not enough. But we'll get on it right away, Miss Roberts. Let's go, honey. Joyce is going to be flying in soon. Can you be ready in a half an hour? No problem, Dad. What's that stuff? Eurasian milfoil. It's a weed. It reduces the oxygen level of the water to such a low content that the fish suffocate to death. How'd the milfoil get there? Oh, hiker's boots, a bird, even a boat propeller, whatever. The happy fact is that it can be cleaned up and the lake restored. Listen, I gotta take the truck and go pick up Joyce. I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Okay, Dad. I'll have everything cleaned up and ready to go when you get back. Horses, ma'am. Really? Horse livery? Yes, I am. Uh-huh. Well, honey, did anybody ever tell you horses could be hazardous to your health? Would you leave me alone? Leave me. Let me go of me!
Nicole, I'm back. Hey, Nicole. I wonder where she went. I don't know. I'd like her to wander off. Nicole! I don't know if the horses mind having their pictures taken, but we do. Horses don't mind because they're not criminals. We're all set. Why don't you take the pickup? Stay with the horse truck. I'll uh, take a shortcut down the rail jump and see you there. What about the kid? What if she says something? Man, nobody's gonna believe her. You know, kids' imaginations, UFOs, rustlers, it's all the same thing. In fact, just to show you what kind of nice guy I am, and because you're some kind of horse lover, I'm gonna give you a blind old Annabelle there and take you back wherever you come from. Good day, man. <laughs> There she is. Nicole! Dad! Joyce! Are you all right? What happened? I was right. There were wrestlers. They made me come with them. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, Dad. They took the horses away in a truck. Which way did they go? Well, the truck was heading north, but the leader took off on horseback on a shortcut to the rail junction. You two get to the pickup. Try to get through to the rangers. Right. Then I'll get the plane and I'll track them from the air. Good. I'm going after the one on horseback. What did he look like? Well, he was tall and he had blonde hair, and he was wearing a dark blue vest with a big brown eagle on the back. Oh, I got it, eagle eyes. Dad, her name's Annabelle, but I don't think she's fast enough to catch him. You'll be surprised what they can do when they have to, sweetheart. The girl, you're gonna have to. Dad, be careful! Come on, Annabelle. This will cool you off. Found ourselves a wrestler. 
So the last thing I'm going to ask for, Annabelle, and it's all the sugar cubes you can eat. Hey, yeah, let's go, Annabelle. Come on, Prince, let's go. any worse than it is already, okay? I know, that's what we said. He was so beautiful. I wish I could have gotten closer to him. Glad you didn't. Those wild Mustangs aren't used to people. You could have gotten hurt. You know, I could have been his friend if those rustlers hadn't come along. Here's one of the whole herd I took from the plane. You must have been flying upside down. Very funny. Dad at work, tracking down the deadly BKD. Dedicated scientist saves trout. Here, here. Dad, in the lake. Dedicated scientist falls on his fanny. Looking good, Dad. Hey, I'll have you know that lake bottom was very slippery. Here's another one of the herd. Right side up. They're magnificent animals, aren't they? No more pictures? Well, there were more, but the wrestlers destroyed that roll. Wow. You captured a gang of ruthless horse thieves. Dad made like the Lone Ranger and decked some guy in a roaring turret. Nicole was left behind for the buzzards. Well, it wasn't exactly like that, son. I know. But still, it's more exciting than what I did. Huh? Dennis caught a cold, and I ended up making him chicken soup all weekend. <laughs> if you think you had a bad time, wait till you hear what happened to those wrestlers. Wrestling's the least of their troubles now. They'll probably be charged with kidnapping Nicole and spend at least 10 years in prison. What about the people that were buying those Mustangs? They'll go to jail, too, and pay a $2,000 fine. The important thing is that the Great Stallion and the other horses are where they belong, safe and running free. <laughs> oh, 